some days, I'm like, damn. Why not become a truck driver? <laughs>
got these new gloves. They a little stiff still, but they warm for show. Just gotta clear up the back of the trailer. As you can see, garbage gets stuck back there and wedged in the seam of the door and all that. caught in the rims of the trailer tires. Motherfucking door. If it's windy, that junk start walking me. I'm trying to walk the door. That junk start walking me. Like a goddamn dog. And I'm gonna close this part when I get in the get back in the truck three points of contact when entering the truck ah uh, yeah boom you know, I just got unloaded right there or you know just closed up after getting unloaded all right now I'm about to go get my last load of the day it is 159 so I'll get back around 225 or so and then we bought about 235 and you know, I'll finish my day at four. You know, 10 hour day, might get a little extra. Uh, hop in the comments, ask me some questions. You know, let me know what y'all wanna see. And I do say that often, but you know, I'm making this content for people to watch, you know, and people to get educated and people to get inspired and motivated. This is why I'm making this content for the most part. And I hope I have, I've seen in the comments that I have inspired people and motivated people to get their CDL. Or I have uh, informed people, you know, that have their CDL. So there's people out there that have their CDL that watch my content, that learn something, you know, and that, that means a lot to me. And I, I'm glad that I can help other people with my content. And I definitely appreciate y'all for watching. taking wide turns is like damn near therapeutic <laughs> no no sarcasm at all I actually enjoy taking wider turns I don't know what it is just like the, you know, the way you gotta control the steering wheel Make sure you're clearing everything. You make sure you're not hitting nothing. Or your trailer's not dragging over anything. I mean, it's, you do it so many times, it get you know, it get a little easier. Just got loaded with my last load of the day, ski. It is 250. So it takes about 50 minutes to an hour to drive to the landfill and get unloaded drive to the bottom of the hill and get weighed out and it takes about another 25 minutes to get back so you know 250 and then 350 an hour and then you know about 4 415 420 I'll be back and we don't preload especially well we don't preload in the winter and especially when it's you know below zero temperatures so probably clock out about 4 30 which is you know that's that's all right with me you know that's a 10 and a half hour day and i'm all right with that you know start off the week right coming up there loaded
time me out, right? I'm at work. I'm getting unloaded right now. I'm at the landfill getting unloaded. You feel me? Buzzing down that avocado skate. Yeah. About the spoon. You feel me? About the night to cut it all at. You feel me? I ain't playing with it. I ain't playing with it. All right. About to go close this door up. Just dump that last load of the day, y'all. BRB. Alright, I'm back. Let's close that door up. Let's close this tarp up now. And then head back to the transfer station. Oh, wait, actually, I gotta stop. I stop at the scale house on my way out and grab my slips. Coming down the hill empty. Time go by quick when you having fun. They say time go by fast when you having fun. Hey man. When you having fun while you at work, hey you can't beat that. Some days I'm like, damn, why'd I become a truck driver? <laughs> but most days I'm like, hey, man, I'm glad I became a truck driver, man. I love driving, though, in particular. But, you know, and I'm just a local truck driver, so I don't know what comes with. I see what comes with over the road, but I don't personally know what comes with over the road. So, But I know what I deal with as a local driver and the job that I specifically transfer station drivers and just slap them hazards on and parking my selection my designated spot I park at either to use the outhouse they got out here <laughs> you know the port body or like right now to grab my slip job wow there we go it's only got three loads I usually get four to five Dwight who? He said Dwight around your bill. <laughs> Man. If y'all haven't seen All About the Benjamins with Mike Epps and Ice Cube, go check it out. It's a classic. You know what I mean? It is very much so a classic. You know? 10 out of 10. Recommend. You know? Alright y'all, I'm about to do my paperwork real quick. It's gonna be pretty quick. I already did my pre-trip slip. My pre-trip report. And now I'm gonna... I'm gonna fill out this mill slip sheet. I only got three loads, so I'll be real quick though. But yeah, it's called a scale ticket. We call it mill, I mean, I hear it says mill slip, call them slips, tickets, you know, whatever. But, but yeah, I'm gonna do this paperwork real quick, y'all. And it is 426, so like I said, I'll probably be clocking out about 430. I'm already parked up. I just gotta do this paperwork, open my tarp and plug the truck in and then head into the head into the scale house and clock out matter of fact i'm gonna go start my car right now but yeah i appreciate y'all for watching this leave out loaded don't forget to ever mind y'all already know what to do if you like the content you know what to do if you don't like the content drop a comment let me know what i should do different what you want to see